As summer weather rolls in, hundreds across the Panhandle will be visiting area lakes and pools. Even if you and your children have a fun time and safe experience, there are risks that could follow you back home. It's a term many are not familiar with, dry drowning a rare and critical situation where children are typically the victims. What happens, the water that gets into the lungs may cause a damage to the lungs and over time you'll get inflammation in the lungs and it makes the gas exchange in the lungs increasingly hard. Your child doesn't necessarily have to be underwater to get air into his or her lungs. They could simply be splashing around, swimming or even just diving. Dr. Hubbard says this type of drowning can occur within 24 hours after swimming. There is also another similar condition that can put your child in danger called secondary drowning. Secondary drowning would be probably caused by an exposure to water where the larynx closes and for it's really not well understood it doesn't reopen and that would be uh, a very serious condition. It's also very rare. Um, and if the larynx doesn't open, obviously you're going to asphyxiate. Signs to look out for for both conditions include shortness of breath, coughing, chest discomfort, confusion, and disorientation. But if your child has been around uh, the water, playing in the water, uh, as soon as they leave the area, it doesn't mean the danger's over. They probably should be at least monitored for several hours afterward. Although both conditions are very rare, Dr. Hubbard says they are conditions parents should be aware of and think about. Nellie Ramirez, News Channel 10.